G'day guys, Josh Huggett here from Joshua Huggett Media and today we are going to talk about how you can be utilizing AI to completely overhaul your workflow. Uh, I'm going to run you through my entire workflow from the moment I finish shooting a wedding all the way through to gallery delivery. So my current workflow is a little bit different uh, because we do have photo editors on staff but going from like 2025 plus I'm going to be editing my own weddings again. Uh, so this is the workflow that I will be using. Uh, this is how you can utilize a platform called Aftershoot which uh, I, I'm an ambassador for, fucking love them, been using them for years, uh, literally since 2020, one of the first adopters of this platform. Uh, but how you can use Aftershoot to completely overhaul uh, your entire workflow uh, from shooting a wedding all the way through to delivering a gallery uh, and just actually get your life back. If you don't currently use Aftershoot, Aftershoot is it's AI culling and editing, so you can use the, the benefits of AI to cull and edit weddings for you and then uh, go through and, and do little touch-ups and stuff after that. Uh, so when we're taking photos, I know that I'm going to be putting it through Aftershoot. I know I'm going to be putting it through an AI platform. So we shoot to the AI. Uh, so if, say I wanted to take a photo of this phone holder, the computer's going to know that if I take two to three photos of this, it's gonna be something that I want selected. Uh, so it will select the best of those three images. Uh, so we do that through the entire wedding day. So when we're taking detail photos, I'll take two photos of something that I really want captured. That way I know that the AI is gonna pick one. Uh, from there, we shoot the entire wedding day. Post-wedding, this is where lots of people were like, oh, the fucking AI took so long. Yeah. The AI took 40 minutes to color the images and I could have done it in that time. Like. Yeah, you could have, but that's not the point. You don't, don't run the platform and then sit there and watch it. That's, that's not the point of having AI to do it. So what you do is I back up all the images in the back of my car. I bring my laptop with me. I'll put my laptop in the back of the car. I'll back up my SD cards. It takes like six minutes. Uh, you put everything onto an SSD. Uh, from there, I run Aftershoot in the back of the car on the way home. Best bit about Aftershoot is that you don't need an internet connection like all of these other platforms out there. Uh, it all runs off your PC. Uh, so I run it in the back of the car on the way home. Most wedding venues are like 30, 40 minutes from home. So by the time I get home, I've had the entire gallery already pre-culled for me. Uh, so what we do is we use it as a pre-cull. Uh, so it'll take us from like 6,000 pictures down to like 1,300, 1,400. Uh, from there, what I personally do is I'll go through the selections again and find a couple more images that we can have a look at. We'll jump into the computer now and I'll show you a real wedding. So this is a real wedding. This is Amy and Martin's wedding that I shot just before I went to Peru. This is the import section. So this is where we've imported all of the photos into Aftershoot. Uh, and then it did this cull on the way back to my parents' house before I went to the airport. We put in 5,307 images. It found 40 images, their eyes closed, so it's not that great a photo, uh, like here. And it culls it out, see, eyes closed over here, and it's gonna select that. From here, blurred photos, so these are photos that are out of focus, uh, not intentionally, and they're just kind of a little bit blurry. See how they're not all in focus, not the best photo? It's selected that that's not a good photo. Highlights, this is where it selects like sneak peeks and like highlight photos for you. I don't really use it for that anymore. Um, selected 1,398 uh, and these are the photos that it has selected. But if we were to go to all photos, what it does here, it takes all of the images that you've put through and it'll run through and it'll pick the best one of those. So post wedding, once it's done the cull and I've made it back home, I jump straight back into here and I go through the, to the more creative sections of the day that I know the computer's probably gonna have a hard time picking up what I wanted it to. So at the end of the day, you gotta remember that yes, AI is fantastic. Yes, AI can help us with a lot of stuff, but it's still a computer. It's not gonna know exactly what you were thinking at that time like even now so we put 1400 images through after shoot it knows us pretty fucking well um but even then we go through and we still pick a couple of extra photos um most of the time i probably didn't need to uh but it makes me sleep better knowing that i've had a, a closer look but what we normally do the couple of photos that i will sneak through uh is anything a little bit more creative so down here champagne pops does struggle a little bit with champagne pop, so I'll literally go straight back down here. Maybe I'll say, yeah, uh, this one here is pretty cool. I'll hit five, make it selected. Uh, I've already done this. 
to this wedding, but like here, I know there was something funny that happened. So like I'll pick here cause it's gonna be a little bit blurrier, but it does tell the story of what happened. So I'll select an, an extra couple of pictures here. Uh, then I'll go back down cause the girls did one too. Uh, so like it's already picked all the really good ones, but let's say let's we wanted this photo and this photo and this photo. It's already picked that one. Uh, cool, and then the more creative section of the day, so that's like the, the couple session and that sort of stuff. I'll flick through here and make sure that none of the really spectacular images have been missed. 99% of the time, I'm not really picking. here it already knows which ones are the best ones i'll run through and i'll pick a couple more takes like not even 10 minutes uh, so now instead of culling for an hour i'm now culling for 10 minutes where i'm just flicking through and making sure i pick a couple of extra photos from here we click um, save changes now we've got 1400 images uh, then we we come over here to the edit section now we have our own profile in Aftershoot that we use. So you can train your own AI profile to work for you. I'll click down here, edit again. So this is the editing screen. Um, now we choose our own. There is a whole bunch of other ones that you can choose like Hazelnut or some of the other creator profiles on Aftershoot. So if you don't have your own profile and you just want to muck around, there are some on here as well. Uh, but let's, or let's choose uh, Hazelnut. That sounds good. Uh, AI cropping, I don't use the cropping feature, but the cropping feature is there. We use straightening, so it's just gonna straighten out those horizons for us, because uh, we're a bit more run and gun. Now this is where, uh, so currently it's gonna edit all 5,000 photos. Probably not the best, because you don't want to edit the photos that you're not gonna use. I just say deselect all, four stars, five stars. 1,571, that's all the images that we've selected. So you now see here, this is an image that the AI has selected and people go, oh, it's a bad photo. Why did it select the bad photo? Because that's one of one. So the AI has seen that. That's a, it doesn't know that that's a gravel floor. It knows that that's a photo that you've taken. So maybe that's fucking someone's, I was going to say someone's ashes, but uh, maybe that's something that's really important. So it's selected it. Do you know what's really fucking easy? To just deselect it and get rid of it. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, so it's selected it for you, you can get rid of that. But edit 1,571 images, great. Generating the previews, it should already have previews in there because we've already edited this gallery. All right, it's 10.55 a.m. currently. I'm gonna set a little, I'll set a little timer on my phone here uh, and we'll see how long it takes to edit this wedding. All right, so we are like, what? three minutes and 55 seconds in uh and now what it's doing here is see the dng converter this is it editing editi this is it editing the photos uh so you can see up here it's generating previews and doing everything here it says it's got six minutes and 36 seconds left to edit an entire wedding how good uh so we'll check back in see how long that actually takes finishing processing the images it's got one minute 53 seconds left it's taken nine minutes and 40 seconds so far to edit the entire gallery uh, and I've only got my computer on medium too, so you can, uh, when you're doing your cull, you can actually use high speed, it'll use a lot more power, um, but I keep it on medium because it, it's finished by the time I get home. Uh, the good bit about this platform, so Aftershoot, and the reason I use Aftershoot is because you can do it all offline. Uh, so you can actually edit an entire wedding, cull and edit an entire wedding completely offline. You don't need internet at all. Uh, and also you don't pay per image. Lots of these other platforms make you pay per image and you end up spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month instead of just a small monthly fee where uh, you can do unlimited culling and unlimited editing. So if you're a busy photographer like I am and you're shooting upwards of 10, 15 weddings a month, you're not going to get a $700, $800 bill. You're just going to have the same monthly fee every single month, regardless of how many photos you put through it. So I use it for literally everything. I use it for all of our family shoots. Like if we just go out on a day out and I bring my camera, engagements, weddings, anything that we shoot, uh, we will put through our shoot. I bloody love it. Um, always have. Here we go. Almost done. All right, we are done. That is completely edited. 12 minutes, 38 seconds. Stop. 12 minutes, we've edited an entire 1,571 images. So now we click down here, review, uh, Lightroom Classic. 
or you can use whatever one you want. I use Lightroom Classic. So now we have all the photos here on Lightroom. It's built smart previews. We've got it all in. And these are our edited images. So it's straightened out horizons. It's, it's pl placed an edit over the top, as you can see. Uh, I, I don't really mind this hazelnut edit. Um, and there you go. So what we do from here is this is where we would go in and we would then apply uh, our black and white preset to whatever images we needed to do that to. Uh, so let's say we wanted this one to be black and white and then we just like bring this up a little bit. So this is where like you find images that you don't really like. So let's say we wanted to get rid of this one because I don't really like how that's not in focus. Delete. And then you just make your way through like you would normally. But instead of going through and culling, you know, 5,000 images, you're only having to go through and most of these images are going to be pretty much ready to deliver. Uh, so let's say, yeah, that's a bit of a duplicate, so we'll get rid of that one. Uh, or you can, what I typically do instead of hitting delete because it's a bit slower, is I'll just remove the rating. So like, I like that photo, uh, I like that photo, uh, I don't like that photo, I'm going to make it one star. Uh, don't like that photo, one star. Oh, I like that photo, but I want to make it black and white. Great. Don't like that photo, one star. And that way you'll go from 1,400 images all the way down to like 900, 1,000. 99% uh, of the time the photos are actually pretty good. But see, like here, I don't like this. So then you could use a brush tool or anything like that as well. So that's our workflow. Uh, if you would like to try out Aftershoot, you can. There is a link down below. You do get 30 days free, unlimited edits, unlimited culling in that time. And then after that, you get 20% off as well. Uh, so make sure you try that out. Have a bloody good time. Get your fucking life back, mate. Uh, so many people complain about having a backlog. We have absolutely no backlog here because so much of the heavy lifting is done for us, uh, utilizing AI and all that sort of stuff out there, just kind of to help us along the way. Not replacing the entire editing procedure. We're not, you know, getting rid of fucking the work that we have to do. We're just trying to make it a little bit easier on ourselves uh, so that we can actually spend time doing the things that we enjoy, like taking more photos or hanging out with people, actually seeing your friends and family, uh, which would be nice. But yeah, try it out below. Uh, have a fucking good time. Uh, until then, I won't see you next Tuesday. Well, I probably will if you watch Tog Talk. Watch Tog Talk. That's a good show that we run uh, where we talk about all things wedding photography and I answer all of your questions. Uh, but if there's anything else you'd like to see me make a video on, uh, drop it down below in the comments. Make sure you like and follow and all that fun YouTube stuff. And I will see you soon. Bye.